everyone today i'm going to be making a diabetes and uh, and uh, before we begin i would like to ask you if you would please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel and uh, first i'm going to show you my ingredients so here i have uh, the ingredients for the varas and uh, here I have 200 grams of urad dal and 50 grams of moong dal and you have, they're washed and soaked for four to five hours and here I have a salt it's one tablespoon here, <coughs> sorry <laughs> Here I have one to two pinches of asphodida, and here I have uh, I have one uh, half a spoon of black pepper powder. Oh, and uh, the salt it's as per taste. You can take however much you want. And here I have coriander leaves, and uh, a little bit we're going to use for the verdes, and uh, and a little bit. Uh, uh, we're going to use it for the garnishing. Garnishing, yes. And uh, here are my ingredients uh, for making the curd ready. Uh, and curd huh? for yeah. the yes. yes. And uh, here I have two cups of curd, of course. And uh, here I have uh, two spoons of sugar. Here I have uh, one uh, half, half sorry half spoon of regular salt, and uh, once again we have some, uh, black salt. It's one by four spoon, and here I have cinnamon. It's also one by four. So all this, uh, if we, um, they don't have sendha namak or black pepper, and, uh, black uh, salt, they can use only the regular salt. Yes, uh, regular you, salt. Can, you can just use mm -hmm. only regular and salt. And salt should be taken as per their taste. Yes, you can take so however now, much you want. No. Uh, yeah, here are uh, some more uh, ingredients for garnishing. So here I have roasted uh, cumin powder uh, and uh, sorry and it's half a tablespoon and it's like um, how much is it needed oh. one to two yes and here i have red chili powder it's uh, also one tablespoon and here oh, here i have some dates tamarind chutney and if you want to find out how to make that you can watch my previous video it's just a little bit and here i have green chutney which is also a little bit that recipe also you have shared already yes and uh, here i have a pot with uh, water to dip the varas after you fry it and here i have some salt to put in the varas and yeah, here this salt too should be added to water yes. yes and here i have oil in this pan so that we can fry the varas and then after that we'll put in the water and here i have already washed and soaked, yeah. soaked down yeah soaked these are already uh, washed, washed and, and soaked mm -hmm. Like, yeah, uh, that just you took the yeah, the, yes. Uh, this is this is dry. It's not needed anymore because we already have some uh, washed and soaked ones. So first of all, I mean like five hours. That's a long time. So first of all, you will blend this. Down. Yes, we have to blend it. Let's take it. I've blended my urad and mungi dal, and uh, you, you have to be careful. You can't add uh, too much water when you're blending it. And as you can see, I've taken a cup of water, and uh, we're going to mix the dal. Uh, for a while and then we're going to take a bit and then drop it in the water to check if it's uh, mixed enough so I think we can chuck now so let's put it in Jeez, get off me 
I don't understand why it's so hard to get it off. Take a little bit like this and drop it like this. Oh, so it's so it not went up down, so it means you need to mix yeah, it. Yeah, we need to mix it more. So normally if we soak it for long hours uh, and then uh, and then blend it, then it will be more lighter and it gets ready faster. It comes up in the water faster. Yes, we have to make sure that so, it stays afloat. So you have to mix uh, with the right hand you do. Oh, okay. You can wash your hand. Oh, okay. So like this. Little more faster. No, 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 no. <laughs> So normally if we uh, soak the dal for long hours, we need not to do this. Yeah. So I've mixed it uh, for two to three minutes. And okay, for the food. Okay, let's check it. Great, it's stuck to my finger again. Wait. Lift a little more. Let me show you how to do. See? Oh, it came up. It came up means it's light. It's more aerated. So now so your word, your words will be more fluffy. Fluffy. So. Uh, to see if the vadas are. Uh, if your dal is ready for vadas. Yes. Uh, and uh, if it comes up to the top, that means that your vadas are going to be fluffy and soft. Right, so now. And, and the ingredients in that? Yes, we're going to mix a few ingredients in. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful not to add uh, too much uh, coriander leaves because we still need some. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's enough, enough. Yes. And uh, this. Ginger green chili paste. Yes. And the garlic. So you used, I think, more water to grind. That's why it is more liquid kind, right? Mix it nicely. Oh, oh gosh. And by the, it is, you're mixing, you can turn on the stove. Oh, yes. So that this will be hot. So you're turning to the, yes. make it high heat. High heat. Good. Let me continue mixing. Paste is ready and now I'm waiting for the oil to become hot. There's my oil. It seems hot. So I'm going to take a bit and test it. Put more down. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. So take this out and we'll put that. The water in this. Yes. So I'll show you how to put with the hand. If you want, you can. So we take it like this, with the uh, little bit of that. You see how to put. Then we drop it in this way, like ground. You want to drop with the hand or with the spoon? I'll I'll drop it with the spoon. So let's mm. use this spoon. Mm. With the hand, it comes out more good. If you are dropping with the spoon, you should take this off. I'm gonna see what it looks like with the spoon. Bring closer, closer. Yes. So drop more. Yes, drop more like that. Oh god. You have to clean that down off the spoon. Yes. Now look. Now press it. Good. Put more. Yes. Okay. And then. Yes. Oh gosh, I almost picked yeah. up the other spoon with this spoon. Mm, good. Okay. You can see I've dropped, um, me and my mom have dropped many varas. Uh, and my mom dropped them with her hand, but I don't like using my hand. Oh gosh, it's so hot. Mm -hmm. Unbearable. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. I don't like to drop it with my hand, so I use the spoon. So hot. So you yeah. Just your face. You should go and wash your hand first. I'm going to turn on the heat down. Yes, we gotta turn down the yes. heat and then uh, shake the vellas. You should dry your hands, else water will go in the eyes. Oh god. Oh dry. Oh, yeah. mm. mm. 
So we'll turn the vada slowly. You have to yes. be very careful while turning the vada. Okay. Yes. Don't turn the one. Those who are still looking. Wait. You can drop the oil on the wheat. You can drop the oil on the vada like this. From this. Whoa! Oh. So you can turn like this if you Oh, that's three of them got stuck together. Yeah, that's not the problem. So you can turn slowly. Don't lift them too much up and uh, drop it. There. Then it oil will is come on you. You have to drop slowly. Yeah. yeah, we have to be careful. No, don't take from one place to other place. So you have to take it like this and then slowly you have to do slowly. See? Wait, that one should be taken off. And you uh, see that. This we can take them. Okay. Then you want to do it? Next? I think this one should be flipped because the top was very white. You have to be very careful. This one is getting stuck. Okay. So you have to cook them nicely. And the then white parts are mm -hmm. still uh, wet. So in the beginning, we keep the heat high, and after dropping the varas, we turn it to medium. Yes, now we are going to fry it for some time till they cook, get cooked from inside too. Right? Yes. And they should get the good color also. Yes. In between you will they have look to. They look nice. You will have to turn it. They look nice and already. If they are stuck together so like this. We have to separate them. We gotta cut them apart. Yeah, we have to separate them. Chop them. These are the ones which uh, when you dropped with the spoon. They have come with a long, long <laughs> different, <laughs> different design. So better, always better to drop with the hand. If so you want to. They <laughs> Otherwise <laughs> just work with, with the hand. Be careful. With the hand if you drop, they will come more round. And How am I supposed to cut this? Oh, there. And I cut it. We have to be careful. We should not add lots of water while blending the dal. Yeah, because no water is allowed in this oil. Now, if you put a lot of oil for a while frying, now while uh, blending the dal, then the vadas will not form a good seed. They will be too watery. That thing. Yeah, they will be like squeaky. Even that one, what you made the paste, it should be little more harder. Then, then also it would be good. But it's good enough. Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 while these vadas are frying, actually, I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. And while they're frying, I have added uh, some salt into the water over here and. I've uh, turned it to high heat. You can lower the heat a little bit. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, you can turn these waters. Yes, we have to turn them. Very careful. So, uh, it'll take a while for the butters to get mm -hmm. completely fried. And in the meanwhile, I can start preparing my curd as well. Uh, so over here, I have my magnificent two cups of curd. And I'm going to add the sugar, uh, regular salt, uh, send the namak and black salt in. So on the salt, send the salt. Mix it nicely. Oh gosh. We have to mix it till it's smooth. It turns it smooth. And keep, don't forget about the vadas in between. Yeah. You gotta keep on doing stuff with both. Mm. And then mix the car too. <laughs> about the curd. Well, the curd's not going to burn, so. So, as you can see, my curd uh, looks nice, and it's ready, and my vadas are also ready. So, I'm going to take some of them out. Uh, not some of them, all you have to do. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you take, be careful while taking out. It's, it's kind of like the kajoris, you have to shake it <laughs> near the side, and then take it out on a little You can take thingy. three out together. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you can take a, a mm. few out together, unlike kachoris. Because kachoris are bigger. Oh, yeah. They take up the entire uh, yeah. thingy. Good. I'm going to mm. put... Oh, gosh. They're all falling in random yes. places. You take it out first. The water then you can fix their pieces. Oh, I'm going to take a few this time. Oh, oh gosh. 
taken out all the vadas here. Uh, there are a lot. And now I'm going to put in my next batch of vadas. This time I'll, I think... First you put oh. off the water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this time I think I'll use my hand. Okay. Yeah. So this is my second batch. I'm going to flip some. So now you're so worth like it is the last batch, right? Yeah, it's the last batch. They're all stuck together. You can turn slowly. And you can turn at their own places. No need to take them out and then drop. Oh gosh. <sighs> it's your second batch. You know how to do. Yeah, but they're all stuck together this time. All so oil is on medium heat, right? Yes. It's on eight, so it's fine. The heat is fine. Yeah, it's not really on medium. First batch, you can see like the ones that my mom dropped. They're all roundish, and then the ones I dropped. Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Because na na na, I dropped with the hand. Da na 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 na. What is this? You turn. Uh, yeah, you turn your words. Oh yeah, can't forget about them. And these vadas, like without dipping into the curd, uh, like dry vadas also, we can eat like pakoras yeah. with the uh, chutneys along with the tea. It tastes awesome, these dry vadas. Do you want to taste one? I will try, uh, I will turn the vadas by the, then. If you want, you can take one. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat this one that you dropped. Okay. It's not hot, right? It so. feels hot. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> take a bite. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> How is it? It's good. Mm, yeah, it's good. Mm. Is it? It has a crusty. I'll I mean, crunchy I'll outer take, layer. Yeah, I will turn your vadas because you're eating. Then you wash hand and you can come. It has like a crunchy outer layer mm. and then a soft inner yeah. layer. So you can wash your hand once you finish and come and turn your vadas. While the second batch of uh, uh, vadas were frying, uh, me and my mom had finished eating a few vadas, a few dry ones. And uh, here, I you might be wondering why is there a giant space in between? That's because uh, these are some. Uh, these peculiar were going. So yeah, we're going to <laughs> peculiar shape vadas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> These uh, we're going to save to eat when they're dry, uh, uh, still dry, and these you want were to save for your brother, yourself, and me, right? Yes, yes, you. Oh, okay. So. And uh, these we're not going to keep them dry. We're going to uh, dip them in the. We are going to make the hewa yes. with that. So first we should drop them in water. Yes. So we have already warmed water. Required and it has got like normal, like little bit. It is still hot, so we are going to drop all. Trust me, it has salt in it, but you, so you just, just can't see it. You need to touch it. You can drop and then we can push it. Drop all those. And I'll help you. Oh, jeez. You can put like it's not a big deal, just putting in water. Then we can just press it like this. Yes, and, that, and they can we'll save the rest uh, for yes, this dryness. One, yes, we can eat dry. So these ones, we will leave it like that, 15 minutes at least. So that they will absorb water and they will become soft. After that, we will take them yep. out and we will squeeze them. Squeezy looks a little bit thick and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to add a little bit Wait, of water. First see the consistency. It's so yeah, it's too thick. Yeah, it's too thick. So we got to add a little bit of water because we don't like extremely thick stuff. No, mix it. Mix it. I think you can add a little more. Yes. Now mix nicely. We don't need any more water water and the cons consistency is uh, nice now we will wait for 15 minutes for these vadas yes to be soaked nicely yes okay we can rest for 15 minutes soaked and make already 15 minutes over right? yes 15 minutes are over and uh, i'm going to take them out 
and squeeze them. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Oops. Chocolate. You can use your hand like you can take like you can take one here. Dip it here. Take this so that water should fall inside. And you can Yeah. You have to like you have this. to squeeze it so that the water comes so out. So that water comes out. Now we can keep this here. Like that you can do all the vadas. Yeah. You squeeze so, it. Let me let me hold on. Yes. Yes. With the hand if you do it will not break much. You can do with the on that also. Yes. Yeah. Now it is squished, you can take it. It's not squished. Yeah, Ways to do like this, we can keep in between one palm and the another, and we can trace it a little bit yes. like this. So you can see that the yeah, water. Yeah, you have to. You have to yes. squeeze it. So this is ready. We will keep it here, and now we can take the other one. This is the easier method because water has turned colder now. It is not so hot, and we can bear that much warm. So then we can like this it off now uh, the vadas are squeezed and i've taken them all out and uh, some are a little broken but that's fine and now we're gonna work over here so uh we have this the curd and we're we're going to uh oh gosh <laughs> we're going to bit Yes, that's good. And then we you have can to put a little bit more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. And then I it. call that a lot, not a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we can. Yes, keep it's top this. Keep this Yeah, we have to put the rudders on top now. Broken one goes first. <laughs> this goes so here. We can can keep a little closer so that we can fit all of them there. Well, I'll put this here. And then here. I'll put this here. And then this here. And here. <laughs> and then this here. This. Where do we put this one? Scoot. Let, let it be out. We can put uh, separately in a bowl. Oh, this, okay. this one we can put separately in a bowl. So Lend. here our twelve badas are lined. Yes. Now on the top of this we will put a little bit. Curd. Yes. Like we are cover yes. them in curd. Yeah, like yeah, cover this. that one in curd. So and on the it should look like you put it like that. That uh, it should the round shape should appear. to decorate it so, so we will take a pinch like a little bit like this and we will keep on this one vadas. like this we will sprinkle yes so on all the vadas so okay. good very good oh that was less you can than take a little more take a little more and you can put uh, even on this one yes i will Time to put in red chili powder. Good. So we can put all these uh, masalas uh, depend little bit depending on the taste, like how much you want, how spicy they like. Yes, you can take you can however much you want. I have decorated mm -hmm. the vadas with a. Uh, the roasted cumin powder and the red chili powder and uh, some people uh, they like it without any chinese and some people they like it with one chinese or both of the chinese so and i'm, I'm we gonna, are not going to put on all these yeah we're not going to put it on all of them because we don't know if many people like uh, the so chinese so while eating not. we can see who wants to eat or not so yes we can decorate we can decorate only one of that with the chutneys. So just to show that how to put. Yeah, you just so, put it on top. Good. It looks pretty with the chutneys. And you can make this yes slow. Little little bit you drop. Yes, and 
I can keep it back. And we can put a little bit of coriander leaves. It makes it look so nice and tempting. Nom nom. So you can drop some coriander leaves there too. One okay. minute. One minute. Look at them. Ah, uh, is. They look so tempting, like just bite into it right now. <laughs> and here I've decorated it with both of the chutneys. So taste it a little bit. Oh, okay. I'll taste some. Take this. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, wait. I, I want more than <laughs> that. <laughs> Get on the spoon. How is it? Mm, it's really good. It's good? Yeah. This recipe is awesome. You have to try it out. And if you like this video, like and share it and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a post. Goodbye.